Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Cruiser. This is part two of what am I looking at when I see a radio on eBay or any of the usual scumbags series. So we talked already about what it means to have a tag matching tags and um, how you can validate that within the radio and that it is likely a more legitimate radio if the tag serial number matches the serial number within the radio. Go check out the other video for details on that if you aren't familiar with it. But today, let's talk about what the flash port code means. So on the APX, the flash port code is right here, and it is an eight, uh, sorry, six digit number, six digit number, and then a single number typically. Um, and on the XTS series, it is a five digit number, and then whatever that is, I can't count. But I have transposed the number from here onto this card so you can see what it is. Now, basic, intuition would say that a number that is 10,000, 100,000, 25 probably means it's a very basic code. But how do you really know what features have been enabled in your radio? Let's take a look at that. And Okay, so apparently I have been recording this whole time already. Okay, so let's take a look at what this flash port code means. Now, I'm in my computer, I've opened up CPS, I've read the radio. Now, under um, the first line of that radio, uh, it will say general. It tells me my system package, my model number, and my serial number. Um, my serial number, again, should match here and on the tag if it's a legitimate radio. The tag, again, is right here. Now, flash code, what does this mean? This is 100. 001-000-002-5. Well, what does that mean to you? It's actually pretty cool. Go to a website called Ekerdam. I think that's how you pronounce it. There we go. Um, Ekerdam.net, A-K-A-R-D-A-M.net, and I'm going to link it below. What you do is you select what version of radio you're using. In this case, it's an XTS 5000. I'm gonna type in the flash code, and then it's going to build a flash code report. In this case, this is a very basic radio. It has Q806, which is Astro IM BE digital operation, H35, conventional system operation, and Q446, fire ground voice and channel announcement. Now those are super basic, but the fact that this flash code, which is displayed in CPS, matches this radio, and even though it's basic, gives me a greater sense of trust in this radio. I am pretty darn sure that nobody has messed with this radio. Now, let's talk about a couple of options where these numbers do not match inside CPS and how it still could be a legitimate radio. Oftentimes, when a radio is upgraded for a department or um, very legitimate reasons, they'll put a sticker here that says I've been flashed and I'm not going to show it because it I don't want to give people the wrong idea and maybe counterfeits and if you know what it is you know what it is but it could say I've been flashed and sometimes there will be a new sticker that overlays this existing one that says a new flash port number so just because the flash port numbers don't match doesn't mean the radio is completely illegitimate however if it has every feature under the sun and you're getting it from um, some random person on eBay, there is a chance that just because it has all five encryption algorithms, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, um, can pick your nose for you, you name it, it could be something that's been monkeyed with. So just be careful. That doesn't mean it's a bad radio. It doesn't mean that it's not um, a legitimate radio, but it does throw up some red flags to me. Basic flash port codes that match on the tag and in the radio um, are a good thing, in my opinion. Again, that doesn't mean that it's a bad radio for you, but just be aware of what you're getting. Now, if you have a very specific need, for instance, on my APX radios, I really like having Bluetooth. I have bought radios in the past where the flash port code did not contain Bluetooth, and I didn't check it in advance. It is somewhat challenging to go to a dealer or a legitimate Motorola guy and have that added. So by taking 30 seconds out and 
going to acredam.net and typing in the Flashport code that is advertised or contact the seller if they don't have it listed, um, you can save yourself a lot of headache. Now, if you want to access that, again, turn the radio on. If you don't have access to a computer, that is, go into service mode again, power the radio on, tap the bottom two dot button. I think it's about five times and you're gonna have to be quick. So I'd have a cell phone camera or video it and um, it's going to tell you, it's about the 12th option in model number, ESN, flash code right there. That is what you want to plug into here. So you don't need a computer to decipher what the flash code is, but just be aware of what you can do to read it off the radio, whether it's through CPS or directly on the radio, and what the flash code means by decoding it through acredam.net. I hope that helps. Um, again, if you're buying a radio for public safety, please be very careful. Um, there are a lot of guys out there that are putting pieces together, and while it may be a perfect radio for a hobbyist, it may not be a radio that you want to trust your life to. Know what you're buying for and know what you're buying. I hope this helps. Take care.